Hey everybody, I'm with the Bug Partner Meteorologist and Live Storm Chaser, Lanny Dean. Did you know that the Weatherbug app has a wildfire section? That's right. In today's Weatherbug featured video, we're going to be talking all about wildfires and I'm going to show you guys how to maneuver through that wildfire section within the Weatherbug app. All that coming right up. The first thing you're going to need to do is to open up the Weatherbug app. Now, it doesn't matter if you're on a smartphone or a laptop. In my case, I'm using my iPhone. After you have the Weatherbug app open, scroll down towards the bottom and click on the fire section tab. Once there, you're going to see a map with all noted fires that will center in on the closest fire to your location. To learn more about the fire that's closest to your location, all you need to do is simply click on the fire icon. You'll see a box pop up with all pertinent information such as the wind direction and the size of the fire if applicable. If you zoom out, you can see all fires across the globe. And if you're interested in any one of those fires, simply click on that fire icon and again, it will give you all the pertinent information. To unexpand the view and get back to the fire tab section, simply click on the small white box where the two arrows are pointing towards each other. This will bring you back to the main fire tab section where you can see the current day's fire threat. Additionally, you'll be able to see the fire threat for the next five days. Quick tip number one, if you'll click on the small circular eye for info button, to the top and right of the five day fire forecast, it's gonna take you to a tab that explains exactly what those fire icons mean and the fire risk associated with each one of those fire icons from lowest to highest. If you click the top left arrow, this will take you back to the main fire tab section where you can scroll through a multitude of fire video. Are you in a wildfire prone area? Well, it's always good to remember those wildfire safety tips. And the Weatherbug app offers detailed wildfire tips before, during, and after a possible wildfire in your area. Quick tip number two, make sure you have those alerts enabled. To enable alerts, simply click on the Weatherbug icon in the top left corner of the screen. Select alerts. And from here, you'll be able to customize and select all the alerts that you would like on and those that you may not. Having the Weatherbug app downloaded and installed can no doubt help keep you and your family safe during this wildfire season. If you guys have any questions about how to use the Weatherbug app or maneuver through it, don't hesitate to shoot us a message on Facebook. I'm Weatherbug Partner Meteorologist and Live Storm Chaser Lanny Dean. That's been your Weatherbug Featured video.